What's up guys, ViaPrepV here, and today, super exciting announcement, looks like DJI has came out with their V2 goggles. Uh, so there's actually a little bit of an upgrade over the V1s, and uh, we're going to go ahead and just we're going to take a look at some product listings and uh, make some predictions about this. what this pretty much means for DJI's future, and what it's all about with these DJI V2 goggles. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look here at this page. All right, so it looks like they are starting to take pre-orders of the DJI FPV goggle V2s over at Race Day Quads. And I think also maybe, yeah, you can also buy them over at Banggood if you want to while they're still in stock. And um, to let you know, I'll be leaving links to both these things down in the comments to both those pages. So if you wanted to pick one up, if you've been waiting to do the DJI stuff, go ahead and check those out. Those are affiliate links. They do help support the channel, help support me. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look here at the specs here. Um, so right off the bat, we have 810p, 144 frames per second digital a high definition display. So that is already, because right now we have 720p in our DJI FPV goggles, and they only do 120, 120 frames per second. Um, so bumping them up a little bit, 810 to 144, I don't really see that it'll be a big difference. Because, I mean, the, yeah, I think too that the DJI Air unit is putting out what the 720p at the 120 hertz refresh rate. So we shouldn't be seeing really any noticeable difference, maybe besides maybe some sharpness on the goggles themselves. So, really going looking at these goggles, um, they don't look like they really, really changed much at all. I think it exact, looks exactly the same. So we have 810, 144. It does use up to uh, six uh, 800 milliamp batteries included. So it does come with a battery now. Um, it does, I believe, also do up to 6S voltage on the battery input on the goggles. Uh, okay. Well, it doesn't say, but I do know watching Nurk's video, it does do 6S, up to 6S on the battery. So whatever flight battery you might have left over that has a little bit of charge left, you can go ahead and use that in your... Um, in your goggles like that actually like i hate i like that a lot because i use a lot of 6s batteries and then i'll have to have one for us to fly the dji so that's kind of kind of a cool little feature and a little bit of for us guys um and then yeah i mean everything else besides the battery and besides it looking exactly the same the antennas even look exactly the same on it which will probably you'll probably upgrade anyway um let's see if i can make this bigger no can i make you bigger No, where are you going? There we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can make it bigger now. So yeah, it looks exactly the same as the other one. It has the lights on the side. Yeah. So besides it just having those few little upgrades, A10P, 144 hertz frames per second, um, other than that, and the battery, it really has pretty much the same exact um, specs as the V1. Um, but that doesn't mean that they might be coming out with maybe a DJI Air Unit V2, maybe in the future, that will support this exact um, resolution and frame rate. So that is a possibility that they might be doing some upgrades to their system to make them just a little bit better. Um, but if I was probably you guys right now, I'd probably be buying some used V1 goggles because I bet you a ton of DJI guys are going to be wanting to sell their goggles. And the probably the difference between going from 720p to 810p and 144Hz, I don't think would really be enough to justify upgrading from the V1, honestly. Unless you just want the newest and greatest stuff, then go ahead and do that. Go ahead and purchase that stuff. It, no one's going to stop you. But... Really going from a budget standpoint, if you're looking to get into this hobby, I think this is a great time because they should be starting, you should be seeing some used ones. And even, I don't think they have any more of the V1s in stock because you can't, you haven't been able to buy the V1s in the past few months because clearly they've been wanting to phase those out for the V2. So um, so if you're looking into maybe just getting into the DJI ecosystem, um, now might be a good time to maybe pick up some used stuff. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can get a set of these goggles to test them out to see if I really see a difference between the other ones. Um, I'm really thinking that it's really going to be not that big of a difference, honestly, because 
it's like gaming at 120 frames per second opposed to 144. You're not going to really notice a difference. Now, going from 60 to 120, you do notice a difference. But that little bit marginal difference between 120 to 140, I don't think is really going to be a big, huge difference, along with the resolution. The resolution will be a little nicer, a um, little crisper, probably is a little more sharp is really what it will look. I, but I doubt it'd be enough to really justify purchasing a you know a six hundred dollar goggles what these things are going for, to just get that little bit of a bump you know like ten percent or five percent better, um, but who knows we'll have to see what DJI has in store for us. Um, but if you found this video helpful and uh, looking forward to future videos, on uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, like always I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.